Meet Stephen Womack as he came to the Salvation Army Adult Rehabilitation Center about a year ago. And meet Stephen Womack today, a successful graduate of that program and the Salvation Army Vocational Culinary Arts Program and cook at T-Mobile Arena. So at T-Mobile Arena, I am in the sandwich department. We do a mozzarella and basil uh, flatbread sandwich and also the security department, which has about 20 people, um, is provided a meal through the sandwich department that we prepare as well for every event. Right now I'm living in the Lead Bridge Housing Apartments, the transitional housing apartments, right back here on the Owens campus. Well, I moved in December 7th. The program is for 12 months. They allow you to stay there and live in your own little single room efficiency apartment. So during that time, I'll be continuing to work at T-Mobile, saving some money and preparing myself to be able to move out on my own. This is the day. Stephen has chosen to further cement his relationship with the Salvation Army by becoming a member of the Las Vegas Citadel Corps, their place of worship on Palomino Lane. Okay, the red jacket is uh, for the men who have gone through a special class and learned about the 11 doctrines of the Salvation Army, and we are now considered an adherent. And that means that we are a member of the church, and the next step for me, if I would like to, would be to go on to be a soldier. As he mentioned, Stephen now lives in our Lead Bridge Apartments on the Owens campus. He has discovered the key to his recovery. Well, this is the one bedroom apartment here at the Lead Bridge, Bridge Apartment Houses, and it's $4.50 a month. I moved in December 7th. It's a 12-month program here. I have a case manager who I meet with once a month. I'm just really grateful that the Salvation Army has this transitional apartment for me to come and live at. One of the keys for my recovery this time has been having an aftercare program. And for me, staying plugged in with Salvation Army has been one of the keys to my recovery. And I never thought I would be at back at this point in my life. I had been homeless, on drugs, and without a job. And now I'm able to come home from my own place, pay my own bills, provide my own meals. I'm not on social service, uh, uh, any kind of uh, uh, public assistance. I don't collect food stamps. Um, I just I provide all my own um, support for myself and this has allowed me to be able to get back on my feet and get some confidence back in my life and I'll be able to save here and move on to the next step once the time comes. Yeah, I've settled in quite well. I've always been a very neat, clean person. People don't believe that I was homeless on the street. They don't know how I could live something like that. And uh, now being able to have my own little place and take pride in where I live, keep my, you know, uh, apartment clean and I have my certificate on the wall from school I have my um, you know pictures and my Bible and um, all my stuff set up here just where I'm comfortable enough to where when I wake up and things are hard and it's tough to get out of bed sometimes and those thoughts of using drugs come back into my mind I look around and think you know it's worth it to stay in the buggy to keep obedient and to stay sober and I wouldn't be able to have any of this without my sobriety um, I had been addicted to drugs and eventually I got to the point where I'd gotten arrested. I ended up in jail. The judge said that they thought that because of my criminal history, having so many arrests and priors, that they would rather see me spend four years in prison. But because of the fact that the Salvation Army has a program and I was accepted into the program, that they allowed me to do the rehab program instead. Upon successful completion of the rehab program, they reinstated me on probation and allowed me to come back into society normally and avoid going to prison. I thought it was impossible for me to ever recover, but the Salvation Army taught me that if I was going to do something impossible, I had to believe in something greater than myself. And for me, that something was someone, and that someone was God. This is where I prepare all my own meals, and it's a big enough area for me to feel comfortable. Uh, this is the bedroom in here. And this is a closet area here, everything all organized and neat and clean. The little restroom area here, it's actually pretty decent size. Able to keep myself all clean and shaved up and I'm just really glad that I'm not living on the street anymore. And I didn't mind the rehab program, I didn't mind living in the dorms, but sharing bathrooms with 70 other men 
and got to the point where I was really, really grateful to have my own clean bathroom that no one else uses anymore. It was one of the biggest things for me. Because his transitional apartment is offered at such a reasonable rate, Stephen has been able to forego public transportation for his very own, a shiny new red scooter. And there he goes. Congratulations, Stephen, on a great recovery process.